just start off with some uh, machine pressing over here. I'm gonna use this strap. This is from Charles Glass. It just kind of sits in your in your mid back, low back. Just helps you get a little bit better stretch because your arms will be able to travel back a little further. Nice to get the first set. Get everything flowing right off the bat. Feels good. Get a lot of blood in there right, right off the get go. I made these uh, sleeves right here a while back. Made them for the rock. But, you know, the rock since made a very a large mistake recently. I think he might have lost his mind. He's, it seems like he's not a Trump supporter, which I don't really understand. but. No, I'm just messing around. We made these for the rock a while back. Just it was just for fun. Just sent them out to him, and uh, I just had them sitting over there. So decided to throw them on, give me a little bit else elbow support. Very similar to our sport sleeves. This thing can go this way, or it can go sideways. It allows you to stretch your arms back a lot further. Which when you're on a machine like this, you can kind of always do that because it just pushes you forward. So I'm going to start out with my feet here so I don't kill my shoulders. And I'll push from here. Anything that you're doing, you got to go heavy. You need a good amount of weight on there. And if you have to lighten it as you go, that's fine. But you don't want to do like 40 reps on your first go. Then you run out of steam. So you'd rather have your reps be in a six to eight category. If somebody gets stuck, you have to help them because they gotta be able to contract. So if he's going like this and he gets stuck, don't be a shitty training partner. Like help him, you know, help help the person as much as needed, you know. When I'm doing some of the stuff in here, I think some of the guys are inexperienced. They don't know to spot that way. We gotta spot all the way through for the person so they can flex as hard as they need to. The hardest thing in life and one of the like best virtues you like you can have is the virtue of just being really patient. Nobody wants to push the project along the entire time they want to they want to push it and they want it to go like this they want it to just go automatically the rest of the way but they want someone else to pick it up they don't want to have to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pulling and keep pushing and regardless of what happens or regardless you feel like you're gonna puke just people don't want to do that but that's all that it takes it's just it's just some like grit and stick to itiveness Patience is really hard though because like on these exercises you All of a sudden feel like a bug that's under like a magnifying glass and the heat gets to be too much and you just You can't bear it anymore. or You feel like you can't bear it anymore But I feel that the pressure of life for a lot of people feels the same way and we all have different pressure We all have different problems and we all just have to deal with it because no one cares I think one of the greatest sayings in all of fitness and and in life is I love Cam Haynes You know, he just says keep hammering like no one fucking care. No one cares. They don't we don't care We care, but we don't care. You know, I care that he uh, Was born with some jacked up knees and had to have hip replacement and stuff But I really don't care when we're squatting in here. I don't care. I care about him. He's my brother. I love him he cares about me. He cares about uh, my shortcomings as as a kid and the things I had to battle. But in the long run, we don't care. It's like because you, it's all result driven. So I can't come to him and say, hey, man, sorry, like I've been a shitty brother, but it's because I'm dyslexic. It's like that doesn't make any sense because being a good brother doesn't require any sort of form of intelligence. It doesn't require me to read. It requires for me to communicate with him. Same thing with him to me and same thing with me to him. It, it, so I think a lot of times people think that everything just takes these different external things in order for them to be good. I saw Damon John made a post and he said, you know, what are the things that are um, frustrating you and preventing you from, you know, doing what you want to do or becoming what you want to become? And I said, you know, frustration is an emotion and emotions aren't a factor in your success because the only thing that's a factor for your success are facts are you able to make progress that's how people succeed that's how people get better are you able to be better than you were five years ago <laughs> yes or no better than five years ago the answer is fucking yes am i better than five years ago yes that's progress that's success and the money side of it or whatever doesn't make a difference people a lot of times say they don't have enough money to do something 
that's not a factor either that, that's a that's living under a misconception i would call that because it's not an actual factor the factor is how do you get from where you are right now to being just that much more successful than you were yesterday and the answer is right here just taking steps who can take a step anybody had a great workout but we did uh machine presses today started out with that and then finished off with a big drop set at the end moved into some incline flies and incline presses then did a uh kind of a one-off set of some flat dumbbell presses and finished off with uh, cable crossovers you know keep your workouts simple enough to where you can manage them and do them every day you know what's something that you can do well something that you can do is just something that's simple something that's simple is going to be repeatable i share the same message with you guys every day because i think this is the most important piece of the puzzle is that things need to be simple enough that you'll be encouraged and have the energy to do them every day. Otherwise, you're trying to push a boulder up a hill and you're not gonna have that energy to do that every day. Eventually, as you push the boulder up a hill, you'll be able to gain more momentum or more leverage. Maybe you got a couple other people pushing that boulder with you. And eventually, the boulder starts going downhill. And then maybe eventually it's snowing. Maybe the boulder turns into a giant snowball, right? And you pick up a lot of momentum and then going downhill you start going downhill faster and faster and faster over time right and so that's what we're trying to do here we're trying to just gain a little momentum how can you gain momentum you're not going to gain momentum by saying starting on monday i'm going to the gym i'm doing an hour of cardio i'm doing an hour lifting and i'm not going to eat any carbs <laughs> that's not going to work very well i know that you might be able to do it for a day i know that you might be able to do it for a week but it's and I'm not even going to tell you that you can't do it. It's just, it's going to be very hard to sustain. And I know firsthand because I used to try to do stuff like that. And I would yo-yo. I'd go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Make it easy. And listen, if you don't feel like dieting at the moment, don't. I just took the last day and a half, two days off. Probably going to have another day or two off. You don't feel like dieting. You don't feel like eating the same foods. Don't. Just come off the diet, it's not a big deal. It's okay to halt your own progress. It's okay to even go backwards a tiny bit, but just a little bit, right? If it's, if it's a, to result in you moving forward overall, then it's a huge win, a huge victory. Remember, Ronnie Coleman used to take months off after the Olympia every year. He came back and whooped everybody's ass because he would just stop. He would just stop everything, he'd stop training, he would stop, stop his supplements, he would stop his other supplements, and he would just chill. And no one understood how he did it. And it's because he took time away, so that when he would come back, he would be even more interested and more into it. That way every rep and every set meant everything every single time he did it. Rather than just trying to force yourself to go through the motions every single day. Strength is never a weakness, weakness is never a strength. Catch you guys later.